everyone, this is Lorraine and today I'm coming to you with my next nail of the day video. And this is the design that I created this week, a very, very simple, kind of like wood grain tree bark type of design. Um, so this is the look that I did and I was trying to choose between two different ones and I'm kind of thinking I should have went with the other one because it looks more like wood grain. but because I haven't used this particular image. I wanted to see how it turned out. It turned out nicely, but um, I think I would have liked the other one better because I did use that one before. But anyway, um, and as you can, if you can tell, the three nails, my thumb, index, and middle finger are glossy, and then I just left, I did not apply a top coat to the pinky and ring fingers to show how it looks slightly textured. So let me show you what I use. So I'm using my the um, Dory Nail Girl System called Rejuva Coat as my base coat, and then I have I am, will be applying um, one coat of this daily until I remove my manicure and then start over. And for my base color, I'm using just one polish this week, and this is by Julep. It is from the Sea Salt Finish Collection. This one is called Jill, and this one's from the Boho Glam Profile, and is just a taupey brown with hints of almost like, kind of like purple hint to it, like a smoky purple. And then for my stamping, I'm using just one color as well. I'm using the Brown by Conad, the special polish. And then for my top coat over my thumb, index, and um, middle fingers on each hand, I use my IBD UV top coat. And then for my stamping plate, I'm using my Dashika Beauty Shop image plate. And this is Big SDPK. And the images that I use are these two here. They're the same image, just mirrored images, so they point the right direction. I think that's either a bird or poss I think it's a bird or possibly a squirrel. It looks more like a bird, maybe. Actually, it could be a squirrel. I don't know, but it's some little animal, like it's peeking through the hole in the tree bark. So that's the tree bark design that I did. This is the one I was actually debating on using this one here. I really, really do like how that one looks. Um, just because it looks more like wood grain to me as opposed to the other one um, but you know I wanted to try something different I've already used that particular um, design before and I actually really 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 liked it so um, but I wanted to again try something that I have not used before so this is the uh, seriously you hate when that crap happens. Um, I was trying to show you the original one that I did. I'm sorry that I was planning on making this one extremely short and I had it already in stupid. Okay, here we go. So this is the original wood grain. The reason why I kind of did not choose this one is because it has the, um, it's not totally, it's the images that have the, so if you wanted to do a French nail design, it's curved, so that, I didn't want that space there that I had in the original one here, so that's why, partially why I chose not to do this one, so that is the designs that, everything that I use to create this look, I may, what I'm thinking about doing, um, um, in the next day or so, maybe tomorrow, is put a um, matte top coat over top of the ring and pinky nails just to see how that would look and if it would keep the texture that way. So um, that is everything that I use. A very simple manicure this today just because last one was a little bit more complicated and time consuming. So my Monday, early in the week manicures, generally I try to do them Monday, but um, Yesterday was a long day. I had to cook 
and I had there was a lot of preparation and cutting of vegetables and stuff involved so by the time I got done my hands were really tired and I just didn't feel like um, doing my nails but oh I also wanted to mention I did start off I am like I mentioned before I'm kicking off my nail care routine especially going into the fall and winter months last week I used the julep hand mask and I must tell you my hands are still really soft and smooth and this I want to say I did this a week ago um, used that one a week ago so I'm continuing with that and I actually before I did any polish application I applied my um, second application of the nail mask so next week I will do the hand mask again so um, so yeah that is everything thank you for watching um, sorry I will have the stamping next and thank you for watching stay polished at all times and have a great day bye okay so I'm going to go ahead and get started with my stamping um, as usual you will need your stamper your scraper which I am just using a store card it allow, gives more a little bit more flexibility. Cotton ball, saturated, and pure acetone. And this tool here is called a cotton claw. I got it from Sally Beauty Supply for the Beauty Club price is $3.29. Regular price is, price is $3.99. And then the polish that you are going to be stamping with. I'm going to be using two designs. They're the same designs, just mirror images. So that way they face in the accurate directions on your nails. I'm a have a stickler about that so that's why I love these particular plates because she really does pay attention to detail so um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started I'm using brown by Conad and it is just a like tree bark design I've done a version of this before but not using this particular um, uh, actual design. I've used one from um, Cheeky. So there is des the design. Doesn't look as much like tree bark, but it's okay. The other one um, that I was going to use looks a little bit it looks more like it's more of I guess like wood grain rather than this one does but um, this actually turned out pretty nicely so I'm using the same design so I'm just gonna stamp it on one more nail just to make this quick and just to show you and again I always apply a, just a row of polish across the top of the image you, there's no need to fill in the entire image with the um, polish because as you scrape and I hold mine at about a 45 degree angle pressing a little bit and then scrape down where it fills in the image and then that is the image again and then I just line it up and then I use the roll method and I kind of off-centered it but there you have it so I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my nails and then come back and show you um, I will show you still pictures of the finished design thanks for watching stay polished at all times